So today I would like to share the Vever Weather Station. Comes complete, seven in one device right here. This thing measures everything from light to wind, the wind direction, rainfall, pretty cool tool here. And we're gonna discuss all of its features and I also wanna show you how easy it is to put together. So follow me along. So when you get this weather station, it's pretty easy to assemble. The instructions are really complete. Um, the manual will walk you through everything you need to know to assemble this. There's just a few things I'd like to point out. One of the things I'd like to discuss is inside of this compartment on the back of the solar panel is your battery pack. This battery pack needs plugged in when you get the device. Or this one screw here and uh, make the connection and put that plate back on, put the screw back in. The other thing I wanna point out is to make sure you pay attention to which one, which place these propellers go. This one is your, uh, your wind gauge and this one's your directional gauge. So this one measures the speed of the wind and this one tells you the direction. Now this device here is for rainfall. And when you get this, down inside of here, there's a little piece that has tape on it. You wanna make sure you remove that piece of tape. Um, there's a little device in there that needs to rock back and forth as the water trickles through here. And if you don't remove that piece of tape, it's not gonna be able to rock back and forth. Um, the other thing I wanna stress is getting it level. Now, you wanna take some, take some time and make sure you get this level. And that's real simple to set up with these screws here on the bottom of the device. You just keep them fairly loose until you get this set where you want. It'll rotate on a ball in here. And once you get it completely level, you go around and tighten up. I think there's uh, four screws. Yes, four screws, four Phillips screws. And that's the other cool thing is all the tools to assemble this do come included in the kit. The other thing that I want to emphasize on is if you look real close, right here, there is an N. This arm needs to point north. And the better job you do of pointing that to the north, the better this is gonna read from the inside as far as which direction your wind is coming from. So, of course, if this isn't accurate, this isn't gonna be accurate. So you take your time and set it up as it should be. Now this sensor here on the top, this is what measures light during the day. Um, so another interesting feature of the Vever device. Um, as far as the mounting, it's relatively simple and they give you a few different options for this. I threw this together relatively quick and I just mounted it here to the corner of my fence post. All in all, I'm extremely happy with the device. Now, at first, um, there was some differences between our, our other um, outside thermometer and this one. This one was reading a couple degrees warmer. But after reading the manual, I realized I could go in and make some calibrations and set this to the temperature of our other one. Now, who's to say the other one's correct? So that's where you fall back on what temperature does your phone say in your township or in your county? and kind of fall in between that and what you're used to seeing on your home thermometer and uh, dial this in. And you can do the same for the wind and there's all kinds of calibrations you can go through if you think there's something off. But all in all, I'm super impressed with this Vever device. And now I'm able to measure all the elements of weather all by myself and I don't have to rely on an unreliable weatherman. And the funny thing is here is you can see the beehives over there in the background. Well, if we look closely, it's been warm the last couple of days and I can tell the bees have been here because, well, that's bee poop. That's bee poop. There's some more right here on the screen. Kind of funny. Been in the 60s though. Been in the 60s. 
So if you're interested in getting you a Weber 7-in-1 weather station, I'm going to leave a link. It's going to give you a discount. And um, hey, who doesn't want to use a discount when they can and save a few bucks? Um, everything's so expensive nowadays, I think we all want a chance to save some money. So if I can help you do that, I'm glad uh, to be assistant. So there'll be a link down below in the video description. And if I get anxious... Uh, and if I get a boost of energy before I complete the video, I'll even throw up a QR code right here to make it a little easier to get to that link. Um, have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. Um, there you go, folks. Weber 7-in-1 Weather Station. Tough tools, half the price.